Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. In this video we'll try to explain how I can run games on my Chromebook. Recently I started receiving more and more questions on how I can run for example roadblocks on my Chromebook or how I can play Heroes 3 on my Chromebook and how I'm actually getting all the Android games on my Chromebook. So in this video we'll try to explain all that and I hope this video will make it clear exactly how all this happening. So stay tuned and we're gonna jump in straight away. So how can I run Android games and apps on my Chromebook? First of all, this is um, ASOS Chromebook R11. It's two in one, as you can see. Um, ASOS Chromebook R11. It's got a laptop display, tent, or the pad functionality. Touch screen, 360 degrees hinges, 10 hours battery life, built-in HDR webcam, and uh, a matte finish, like a metal matte finish, which is helps to protect them it makes this device a bit more rigid on this side i have um, power hdmi uh, usb 3.0 and sd card slot on another side i have the power on and off switch headphone jack usb 2.0 and a kensington lock and as you can see as it was showing I can rotate this all the way around and basically that that becomes a tablet as you can see right now it's in a tablet mode and because it's a touch screen everything's work fine so menu browser no problems and I can this can be in a tent mode if I tilt the display in this position this is going to be a display mode tent mode and obviously the laptop so it goes all the way down and the screen goes up i had this laptop for about a year now of this chromebook for about a year now and uh hinges are still perfect condition they're not became any loose or anything screen is not uh, flimsy or anything else so um why this chromebook is so special in a google um, keynotes or Google presentation which they do every year in 2016 they announced that they introducing Android for Chromebook what that means is um, certain Chromebooks can run Android apps and to find out if your Chromebook is a lucky Chromebook which will allow to run Chromebook apps you just need to go to Google and search for Android on Chromebook. While you do that, here we are. And the first one, the first link, uh, let me try to show it to you. The first link, which is says, install Android apps on Chromebook, support.google.com. If you click on this link, it will bring you to this page. And in here, let me do this way, and in here, what you need to do, you need to click on this link, learn which Chromebook supports Android apps. If you click on this link, you will give a you will see a list of Chromebooks and basically their status. So if I look for mine, which is ASO Chromebook i11, the, the top one, it says stable channel. That means that I don't need to turn my Chromebook in, in any developer mode modem or anything else it will work as a stable channel so no crashes no annoying errors and etc but as you can see the list is extreme like long so whatever you want to go for you choose one of these chromebooks and you will get chromebook and uh, you will get android apps like for example if we go to uh, i don't know let's go for lenovo so like lenovo n20 or n20p let me try to zoom in. Here we are. N20, N20P, if I go to the planned, that means 
this Chromebook will eventually get Android apps. Some of them, it says beta channel, which is so-so. It can be laggy, it can be uh, glitchy, errors. It's not fully released yet, but there we go. So we'll go back to the laptop mode. So this Chromebook have Android enabled stable channel. And that allows me, if we'll close everything, if we'll press the magnifying glass, which is on a Chromebook, opens the menu or like an app draw i can see here which is this icon right here it says play store in brackets beta so I'll click on that and i say open or i can use a trackpad and click with the mouse this opens the google play store the same one you will see on your android phones or android tablets and I can download all these apps and games and run them on my device like I would on my phone or on my tablet. As an example, this is, is Google Nexus tablet. So if I will right now go to a Play Store, so store and open up. So let me load, Don't, uh, by the way, this tablet is like years old, so it can be a bit slowish. But it's running, so if I'll go in the landscape mode, which is, I'm not sure, because accelerometer, I believe, on this tablet is a bit wonky. Let me see if it's actually okay, auto-rotate on. Will it work? Come on. Here we are, rotating. So as you can see, what you, I see on my Chromebook, Google Play Store, I see the same on the actual Android tablet. So if I'll go a bit down, so let's say some of the games you probably will see is a bit different. Well, not all the Android games can run on my device. So basically that's a hint why I even started this channel because I wanted to start testing Android games and apps on the Chromebooks and just show to all of you guys which games or Android apps can't be run and um, are they glitchy and etc. But as an example, let's say this is a Android tablet. I can see there is a game which is called Heyday. And if I'll go up, that game is not around here because probably is not allowed or it cannot run on this device. But let's say I can download Iron Blade Medieval RPG and play that. I can download Vainglory, which I already done a video, but you can download that and play. This is like a MOBA style game. Guns on Bo of Boom. I, I download that. I tested already. There is a video on my channel. Um, so yeah, it's, it's nothing special. I'm not going anywhere and downloading some exe file or cracks or anything. I'm not going through Steam or anything else, nothing. This is just a pure Android running on my Chromebook. So let's say um, some of the games, let's say I can um, pre-order some of them. Um, I don't know, let's go for, let's say I want to be announced when a Final Fantasy will be so I can pre-register the same way as I would do on my tablet. So if I'll go down, it's probably gonna give me uh, options. Here we are. The same one, I can pre-register, it's the same thing. It's nothing, like, there's no magic, nothing involved. Um, it's just uh, the way Google allowing certain Chromebooks to run on, or certain Chromebooks run Android uh, software, Android games and apps. Let's say I want to download them, the game or let's say um, apps and games categories. Let's go to, uh, I don't know, uh, to the finance library, music, maps, navigation, mm, productivity. Let's say I use this laptop or this Chromebook for work purpose. I can download some of the productivity apps that I, I would run on my Android device and they will sync to Google account and then sync back to this device. So let's say Google Slides. 
you don't really want to create any Google Slides on your Android phone, but on this device, it will be perfect. As you can see, Google Drive, all of this, reminders like remind, reminded milk, all these. And um, this makes ideal work and leisure device, this Chromebook. Um, this specific Chromebook cost me £220 in um, United Kingdom. I bought it from a shop or from a shop called Argos. And uh, let's say um, you are a student and you need something with math. So let's say click math and let's see what's uh, timetable, math, masters, except all math formulas, right? Games, do, do, do. let's do this. My script calculator. So if you click on there and I say, yes, I want to download. Yes, it's downloading. Uh, it's the same way as it would do on the Android device. So if I'll go here and I try to search the same thing, math, this is, um, like I said, this is Nexus tablet. See, that's the same thing. And it's right now open the, the, the app draw and it's telling me it's already downloaded. So I need to find it and it's here. So I press on and it's running. Skip, skip. So two plus two, the equal. That's it. If you are um, a student and you need to do some math, math calculations. You just convert this this Chromebook in a tablet mode and just write 2 plus 4 plus 7. Uh, sorry about this. I'm not sure if here we are. It's understood and it's 25. Brilliant. Let's say divide all this by 2. Okay. And do a... That's it. It's, it's perfect for, for any kind of situations you want to use as a work tool perfect you want to give this to your kids and play some games perfect because if you go to um back to a google play store and let's go to uh family section there is an android games that runs on this device and they're perfect for kids like three plus years old kids here we got thomas the tank peppa pig and loads and loads and loads of the games for kids. Even the YouTube for kids section, they can watch uh, all the videos on YouTube safely. Like TikTok game is brilliant and it's no magic, no magic at all. I'm not using any hacks or anything. It's just a Chromebook with a enabled Google Play Store. That's how I can run and play games like Roblox, um, Heroes Free, Asphalt 8 and etc. If I go to my um, app draw and I go to games, that's the games I can play and and as I would on my on my Android tablet. Let's go to another folder. You got another games like Dungeon Hunter 4, Heroes 3. I can play in this Shadow Gun, no problem. It's it's just a Android. Okay, it's called Chromebook. It's not like an Android phone or anything. It's just Chromebook with enabled Google Play Store. If I go to my Play Games section, it gives me my all the account, all my um, achievements. So I'm on level 22 now. As you can see, um, I'm a bit like proper playing of um, this Egg Inc. on my on my smartphone, but I can obviously play this on on my Chromebook. My games, the games I recently played, and etc. It's uh, it's just um, Chromebook with Google Play Store enabled. I hope this video clears that I don't use any magic or any hacks or any like uh, behind the scene things. It's Chromebook. It's Chromebook, which running Android apps. So if we go to a settings and click about Chrome OS, Google Chrome OS. Google Chrome OS, all the details, but it gives me option. Google Play Store Beta is there. And if I click, let's say, Preferences, it opens a normal, as you see, settings on your tablet. I go um, Apps, and it loads apps which I downloaded and, and installed on this device. It's Chromebook with Google Play Store enabled about this device. Here we are, 6.0.1 is running this device. 
build number. No need to you already developer. Brilliant. So all this um, developer developer option exactly what I would find on my Android device. Storage. It goes to storage. I nearly used all the storage. It's calculated. Is Chromebook will enable Google Play Store. Right. I hope. Well, I say this once again, but I hope this video explains to you how I'm managing to do all these gaming on this device. Yeah, it's even telling me that right now, updated, updated, installed, updated. Brilliant. This device is brilliant. If you're looking to buy a cheap device for your kids or for your, I don't, for yourself as a student, as a, as a colleague, as a, as a work person, as an office staff. This Chromebook is brilliant on the travels. It's, it holds 10 hours, around 10 hours of battery life. I, I was on a bus once with from Cardiff in Wales to London. The journey time is four and a half hours on a bus. And I had this Chromebook all the way to the London and all the way back watching movies and browsing the web. And I came back with 25% of battery left. So it's a brilliant device. Well, I will say that again, this is no magic, it's just a Chromebook with enabled Android. Thank you very much for watching, my voice is disappearing, I'll see you next video, bye bye.